Two eight five one, turn right heading one eight zero. Hey everyone, welcome back to DJ's Aviation. Last week you may remember I discussed how airlines were preparing for delays with the Boeing 777X. Well, thanks to a report issued by Reuters, it would appear a delay with the Boeing 777X being delivered is now almost confirmed. In last week's video, I discussed how certification and also the aftermath of the 737 MAX would likely result in an estimated June 2020 delivery being delayed. Now the GE9X is reportedly encountering issues that'll delay the delivery most definitely. A Boeing executive who confirmed to Reuters said that the 777X is now facing delays following challenges with the brand new GE9X, the engine that is set to feature on the Boeing 777X and one that has attracted a lot of attention thanks to its incredible size. If you weren't aware, the Boeing 777X since rolling out quietly in March has been undergoing major tests and was actually slated to complete its first flight on the 26th of June and this was according to Emirates President Tim Clark. Although now, according to this Boeing executive and many others, this simply will not be occurring. And now it could have an adjusted takeoff period of the end of 2019. Now the main issue according to this same executive is in regards to testing glitches with the GE9X. This is following already problems appearing with the wings and assembly delays. Now, it's important to note that with this being a new engine and also new aircraft, problems like these were always expected to occur. In fact, it probably would have been frowned upon if things hadn't occurred like this. We've seen delays with the likes of the A380, as I also mentioned in last week's video as well, so it is completely normal, although it's certainly not something that is welcomed by Boeing and the airlines welcoming it on in the future. To be exact though, the Boeing executive said there's some challenges they are working on through testing, so we're having to do some retesting, and they're working their way through that. While carriers do expect the type to be flying by June 2020, questions have already arisen over just how accurate that will be now. Considering this isn't the first hiccup and now major retests will have to take place, June 2020, which is now exactly a year away, seems frankly very close and not as achievable as first thought. While a 2020 entry into service, say, at the end may be likely, it would not leave Boeing a lot of spare time to be doing all these checks, and they would most likely be rushing around the clock to get the aircraft sorted. Now, while this video doesn't have to do with the 737 MAX, considering what we've seen come out in regards to how quickly the aircraft was being produced, do you believe that Boeing should be taking that risk and rushing to meet the entry into service date? I have to be honest and go into my own opinion and say I don't believe so. I have no doubt that the Boeing 777X will be an incredibly safe aircraft when it gets flying, as probably any Boeing aircraft will from now on. And while you could definitely make the case that they should have been safe to begin with, I do believe Boeing should be risking a delayed entry into service to ensure that this plane is fit to fly. In fact, once again, thanks to a source close to the airline industry who spoke directly with Reuters, we learned that the actual flight testing campaign that aircraft often embark on following their first flight is likely 14 months, and this is specifically for the 777X. Now, this was actually before the 737 MAX crisis that we got that 14-month estimate, so you can almost expect it to be a little bit longer. And now, given the delays with the GE9X and people predicting that the type may get flying right at the end of this year, the entry into service service date could actually continue to slip past 2020 and move into 2021. If this was to occur, airlines like Emirates and Lufthansa that I discussed in last week's video will most definitely need to be implementing their programs, which for Lufthansa includes keeping their 747-400s on longer than expected. Thank you very much for your continued support and watching another one of my videos. I do very much look forward to you all joining me in the next one. Oh, well,